Okay, so you're at the stage where you have a web page, and actually, what you've got there is、um, you've got hyperlink, you've got your font set, and you've got images for each of your books, films. In my case, it's nursery rhymes, and we're looking at doing this so that we have、um, a consistent layout, so that it looks more like this with our hyperlinks over the top. Um, the way that we're going to do this then is using、um, these things called divs,、um, and these are called divs because they stand for dividers,、um, and also using class、um, for our layout. So let's have a look at、um, doing this then. So first of all, we're going to separate out our code into several dividers. The first one is just going to be called the top. So let's divide the top here. So div id equals top, and that goes just around the title. So we'll close that div here. The next thing we're going to do is have another divider for the bottom of the page, and let's just make sure we put that in speech marks. And we're going to close this. Right at the end, just before the body close tag. Okay, so we'll save that first of all, and we can start styling this by just doing hash for our divider, hash top, and we can say that we want the top to have a height of 300 pixels, and we might also set the background color of the top to, let's say, light blue. We'll save that, and let's run it and see what it does. So what we have now is we have the top as 300 pixels, and it's in light blue as well. Okay. Now what we're going to do is、um, we've got our classes for the bottom, and what we're going to do is set the width of these so that we can divide our page in half, so it looks a bit more like this. This is really straightforward. All we need to do is we're going to make two classes. We're going to make a class here. And I'm going to call this rhyme. You might call this book or film. And we'll close that div class here. We're going to do exactly the same for the second nursery rhyme. So div class equals rhyme. And then we'll close that here. Notice that the name is exactly the same because the way we're going to style this is the same each time. So that's rhyme. This is also rhyme, and it falls into the section called bottom. Okay. So in here, in order to style the rhyme, we're just going to put dot rhyme. Yours might be dot film or dot book. And then we're going to say we want the width of this. Now the width of the full page is a hundred percent. I'm splitting my page in half, so let's do fifty percent. I'm also going to float everything to the left, so it starts from the left, and I'm going to align the text to the center. So if I save this. Run it and launch in Chrome. What we should see is we've got the top is done, the bottom, however, is not. Let's have a look as to why there's an error there. Okay, let's check my code. In here, I've done the width is 50 percent, float left, text line center. The one thing I'm missing is a semicolon, so let's just add that in. Save, run it, and I think the semicolon is going to make all the difference. Now my page is divided in half. The other things we can do is we can round the edges of our images and、um, our divs. So let's just do that to、um, the top section, and I'm going to make it a bit shorter as well.、Um, in the top, let's do border radius, and we're going to do 10 pixels. I'm just going to make it 200 pixels here. Save it, run it, launch in Chrome. There you go. So that's all rounded all the way around.、Um, you'll notice that what has happened is we've got a bit of a gap here, and I think that's due to my heading one not sitting right in this div. So I'm just going to float my heading one as well to the left. So float that to the left, and that'll just float it on top of the div. Now, if I run this, okay, now it's perfect. So I've got the top div in sky blue. I've got These classes split into 50% of the total width.、Uh, 
um, and I haven't actually done anything um, to the bottom div here. If I wanted to, I could style that by doing hash bottom and I could say what color it is and also setting um, a radius as well, but I don't think that's necessary. So that's how you split your page in half using classes, as we've seen here, and also um, how we set a top section to be a different color to say the bottom section. And that's it.